today we are back at Aldi shopping all of their amazing hidden gem home decor. That is unheard of for an area rug of this size. The Aldi home decor just keeps getting better and better. You are not gonna believe these decorative wood hurricanes. This is a quarter of the price of what you'd pay for the same thing at Target. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. Today we are back at Aldi shopping all of their amazing hidden gem home decor. My home decor finds at Aldi this week were even better than last time and I was already impressed. I think you're all gonna be so shocked to see the home decor they have at Aldi this week. It is really, really good and the prices are amazing. We're also gonna be doing a little bit of grocery shopping. Brian and I are actually trying out the keto diet. Really a like lazy, dirty version of keto is what they call it. And they have a ton of keto food Food items, so we're gonna be doing some home decor shopping and then a tiny bit of grocery shopping and I'll share a grocery haul with you at the end. We have a ton to cover and I'm really excited about these Aldi finds, so we're gonna head inside right now. We are back in the Aldi finds aisle. I found so many amazing home decor pieces at Aldi last time that I knew I had to come back and check it out again. There's even more home decor than last time, way better items. I was excited about it before, but now I just like can't even believe what I found. The prices for home decor at Aldi are so cheap and the quality is so good. Let me show you. Right here, there are a ton of of like really nice bath items for super cheap. The first thing that caught my attention are these acrylic apothecary jars. Look how cute these are. They have like the little acrylic knob on the top, three different sizes, $6.99. $6.99 for this super nice set of apothecary jars. I feel like that's a great deal. At Home Goods, it'd be $6.99 for just one, so that is an absolute steal. They do also have like shower curtain liners for $6.99. I do know that you can get these at like the Dollar Tree for cheaper. They have these square pebble shower mats. These are really nice, help to prevent any like slipping. Then they do also have waffle bath towel sets, and they have a lot of different colors. They have like this really pretty spring and summer green. They also have just like a really Really nice ivory they have pink they have gray and that's $12.99 for the whole set another set that caught my eye are these these are also from Huntington home they're 14 piece bath rug and shower curtain sets so you get the shower curtain also the little attachments for them and this really nice like shaggy bath rug this is $9.99 for all 14 pieces this is super fun this is an LED letter board and it comes with 168 letters and it lights up all around People love using these as like decor in their kitchen. Also cute for like a bar cart. People also use them for like baby announcements. This one, it just says like good vibes only, but look how it like lights up and it comes with all the letters so you can write whatever you want. And this is 12 by 12. These Royal Plush throws are definitely catching my attention. They're a little bit oversized. They're actually 50 by 70. Standard throws are 50 by 60. And they have a lot of colors in this too. They have like a pink floral. They have pink, beige. I see blue stripe solid blue and then a solid beige these are only $7.99 i also found this throw it has like an ombre striping so it's kind of like almost like a painted stripe this is really pretty it has grays and creams it also has this really nice carrying case i hadn't taken one out so i didn't notice it before but this is super nice for $7.99 i just dug this one out from the way back this is the only one of this that i see this is the sherpa throw this is in a normal throw size 50 by 60 the other one was a little bit bigger it was 50 by 70 so a little bit oversized this has kind of like a geometric pattern inlaid this is really beautiful and i really like this color this is like a true grayish okay and then i also just dug out this pillow this is the only one i see of this as well it has like a really pretty almost boucle texture with this fringe all around this is 12.99 a perfect basic sadly i already checked it does not have removable cover but it's super affordable and i feel like the quality is really good especially for the price. I was actually just talking about these in my Nordstrom anniversary sale video, but these pillowcases and eye mask satin sets are super nice. They're $4.99. I sleep on a silk pillowcase. Satin is, I would say, the next best thing to silk. If you don't want to spend the money on silk, this is definitely a good alternative. You get a pillowcase, two pillowcases, and an eye mask for $4.99. I see a couple different colors. I see pink and blue. I bet if I did some digging, I may potentially find a white, but these these could be a good stocking stuffer or something to throw into a gift basket. They do also have full bedding sets. So they have it in twin size as well as in full. These are nine piece bedding sets. These are perfect for back to school. They have it in this like almost like pink and blue tie dye ish type watercolor pattern and then a solid teal. I do see full and twin size and you just like cannot beat that price. They do also have these full size body pillows. I see them in yellow, blue, that same like beige stripe that we 
saw the blanket in as well as teal and a pink so tons of mix and matching to decorate a dorm or some really affordable home decor okay look at this lamp this is identical to a target lamp this one is $30 so I would say that's a little bit expensive for Aldi at least from what I've noticed so far this is a really nice lamp though the style is very very in again from Huntington home but if you give this a few weeks it will actually go on sale I think they said last time that it's like six weeks exactly from this date is when the items go on clearance so this could definitely be something to watch these hanging hammock chairs are really really cool so what it looks like in the picture they have two really pretty designs right here they have this like bluish kind of like santorini mykonos grease vibes and then they have this one which is in like a colorful summer stripe and both of these are 20. this is the absolute find of the day this is a complete steal this is 24.99 for a five by seven rug and they have a couple different like like weaving styles to choose from they have a stark white they also have this like grazy stripe they have this color this is like a deep taupe and then they also have like a light gray five by seven a bunch of different styles for $24.99 that is unheard of for an area rug of this size really similar are these doormats they are called Manhattan doormats these are a little bit bigger they're 30 by 47 they're very thick like heavy duty and then they also have these like indoor outdoor doormats a couple of different patterns going on there and these ones are $14.99 these little birdhouses are a really cute home accent or of course you can use them outside these are actually on clearance at my store for $7.49 have this really pretty neutral and then they also have like a blue egg birdhouse as well so two options there I feel like you can use these indoors or outdoors these are super cool foldable storage ottomans so you could do like two in front of a couch and they'll fold down away like if you decide to do something else but if you need something with more storage that's also collapsible this is a really good option this is $12.99 they have it in gray they also have it in like a rust and then back there I do also see it in a black so multiple color options for this storage solution you are not gonna believe these decorative wood hurricanes these are gorgeous these are actually a two pack so you get two for $16.99 it looks like they have two different sizes so I think this one you just get one big one and with this one you get two ones like a medium and a small size these are absolutely stunning they have this really nice wood detailing and then it is just like a glass hurricane look how pretty that is you can kind of get like a little peek at it there this is extremely nice at Target this would easily be like $30 and to get two for $16.99 is an absolute steal and I want to make sure that you all know that the hurricane part is glass even though I said it because the apothecary jars were plastic so I don't want anyone to get like confused these are actually glass I feel like these are really good quality and something I'm really tempted to get for $9.99 they have these boho jacquard table runners they are fully embroidered they have some nice tasseling at the bottom they have three colors they have navy they also have like a rust which would be great for fall decorating and then they also have this more neutral really love this this is also $9.99 so super affordable and this is an oversized runner <laughs> so it's bigger than a normal runner normally at Target these run anywhere from like 20 to $30 so for 10 this is a really really good price and they do have colors that will work for anyone right here I see a few different like organizers so they do have this modular bamboo organizer this one's really nice and then they have this mesh one so if you're looking to organize your drawers get things a bit more organized maybe like organize a junk drawer this is a really good option they have black and they have these like modular ones or they have this one that comes all together in like a silver color so a couple of different options all for only $6.99 how cute is this I cannot get over these Aldi home decor finds right now this bamboo lantern is only $14.99 it's really tall it's probably like a foot and a half tall that is such a great price especially for this style and size it also already has the candle built in this is a steal for $14.99 honestly Aldi home decor just keeps getting better and better these are really cute too remind me a lot of like Opal House and Hearth and Hand these are round and square floor pillows so right here these are all of the square ones they have three different patterns they have this black and white they have this like navy floral that one's really cute and then just this like dotted rust option they all have these really cute tassels on the side really fun floor pillows I feel like these would be great for like a playroom also for maybe like a really casual living room a dorm room these are $16.99 and then back here right behind this pillow sorry I know it's so dark back there 
here are the round options. And the round ones are cool because they're tufted in this like circular way with the button in the middle. This is really, really beautiful. And these ones are also $16.99. There's just like so many random things. I'm trying to show you a big overview. This stainless steel trash can. This is really nice, a 22 inch trash can. Perfect for a small kitchen. That's $24.99. That is a really great price for a stainless steel trash can. It's 10.5 gallons. I think ours is like a little bit bigger than that, but honestly, you don't need it much bigger. Right here, there are a bunch of runners. These are utility runners, so super, super durable. They have a lot of different patterns. This one is like black and brown. I really like this. I actually think this would look really cute in our kitchen. They have like a blue option, also a gray, this more geometric gray, tons of options there. And those are only $9.99. Runners like this at Target are like $40. So this is a quarter of the price of what you'd pay for the same thing at Target. Another thing I love, I pointed some of these out last time I was here. These are actually on clearance for $11.29. They were originally $14.99. These are marble cheese boards. So they have this one that has this like bow tie appearance. So it is the white marble on one side, black on the other with this gold detailing. It really truly has this like bow tie effect. That is like a more oval cutting board. And then they have this one that's the wood on one side and marble on the other with that same gold plaque in the middle. These are really nice. And also, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the video, but they are really heavy like this one. That's marble on both sides. This probably weighs like 10 pounds. I just also found a square version. So if you're not into the more unique shapes, they have the square one. This is really nice, also part of the clearance. It's the same as the one we just saw with the wood and the marble and the gold in the middle. This is really beautiful. I'm also seeing tons of like kitchen must-haves. They have like different food containers, great for if you are heading out to work and wanting to like pack your own lunch. This even comes with like a little dressing or condiment jar. I'm seeing kitchen tool sets. You get a 13 piece kitchen tool set for $14.99, paper towel holder that's stainless steel, a bakeware set in this really beautiful champagne color. I actually also see it in like a nice graphite behind that. That is $12.99 for a four piece set. We have a set that's extremely similar from Target. It's from Threshold and it was like $35. Lots of different pans right here. I see like a paella pan. I see a wok. They also have this pan down here that has a picture of like a quesadilla on it. I've not seen this type of pan before, but if it's a pan to make a quesadilla or something delicious like that, I'm in. They also have mini appliances. So I see like a Belgian waffle maker in a blue and in a stainless for $14.99, a single serve coffee maker, AKA a Keurig for 50, and a compact air fryer that's two quarts for 30. That's not a great deal. You can definitely find ones that are bigger for $30 on like Amazon and stuff. So that's one I would skip, but the Belgian waffle maker seems like a good deal. I'd also skip the $50 off-brand coffee maker but the Belgian waffle maker is good these pans are so pretty they're ceramic pans which is great ceramic I feel like it's definitely the new thing they're super non-stick they also have them in this really pretty like robin's egg blue they didn't have these last time but they have saucepans that match it and they have one of the blue ones as well these are so cute to like keep on your stove top even if you're not using them they are so adorable right here they have a double-sided chalkboard easel sign this is twenty dollars if you are getting married love to throw parties if you're an event planner I feel like this is a must-have even like a business owner outside of Kirkland's They always write their deals on a chalkboard just like this and 1999 for this size is awesome This is 26 by 19. It's an easel So it just stands up on its own and you're able to write on both sides. This is a great deal How adorable is this wooden serving caddy? It also has metal hardware. This is actually super heavy. This is 9.99 We've been seeing these a ton in the Target dollar spot and we see them a lot at home goods But I feel like most of the time they're like a woven option so if you're not into like the woven this could be a really good option for you and this one's only $9.99 here are a few more of those floor cushions they have a solid blue I hadn't seen that one yet and then they also have a solid tan so I'm loving that they're having a ton of neutral options I feel like those options go the quickest so if you're seeing these items and you like them I would act fast they actually have this sign right here that says no pressure but our weekly specials usually go pretty quick and I do feel like I got a lot of comments saying that that typically they put the items out on Tuesdays so a lot of people go on Tuesdays so that they can get these items I'm also seeing lots of like beauty stuff like I see a blow dryer a straightener the like hair microfiber wraps towels 
a ton of different items. It is way more packed than it was last time I was here and I'm really hoping that you guys love this video so I can keep making the Aldi videos because I am obsessed with Aldi home decor now. So that is it for all of the home decor. Now we have a lot of grocery shopping to do. We seriously have like no food right now. Normally I show little clips from around the store. This time I'm just gonna show you a haul when I get home. If in other videos you want me to show more of the grocery shopping like I did in my first Aldi video, just let me know. But this time I'm just gonna show you the haul when we get home. Okay, just got home from Aldi. We spent about like $205. I feel like we got a ton for our money. Keep in mind, as I mentioned, we are trying to eat more like low carb, keto type diet. Definitely not a strict keto, more of a lazy keto. Um, and they just make so many products for it now, like keto breads, tortillas, items that make it really, really easy. So I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up. If you hear any like screaming, happy screeches, any songs that is brand playing in the background. But really quickly, I'm gonna run through everything I picked up today on a keto diet at Aldi. So the first bag, I do try to like separate things when I'm checking out. I don't know if any of you guys are like me, but I like to try to keep like the breads and, or snacky things typed together. I don't know. So first thing we picked up this bread, we got two different types of keto bread. Um, Aldi has a like keto bread that they always have, but they had this new one called Carbonaut, expanding the low carb universe. Each piece has two net carbs, and that's like a seeded bread, which is what we normally buy. The Aldi ones, the normal keto bread, they only have like wheat or white, and we always buy the wheat one, but we were excited to see that. We did also pick up two bags of dog treats, some jerky for the dogs, and then we did get two loaves of this keto-friendly bread. We'll probably end up throwing one of them in the freezer, um, but I just wanted to stock up on the bread because I'm always nervous that I'm not gonna be able to find it when I go, and this keto bread is really, really good if you haven't tried it. Next up, also in this bag, are just like some snacky type items. We got these coconut clusters. They are pumpkin and sunflower and quinoa, and then they have dark chocolate on them. Those sounded delicious. And then we did get three bags of this beef bit, bitong, biltong. I think it's like a beef jerky, basically. Um, we got teriyaki, original, and then they also had a smoked flavor. I don't really eat beef jerky or anything like this, so I got this more for Brian, but this is zero carbs on keto, and if you've ever eaten keto, it's tough, like you have to stay under, it's different for everyone. I think I eat only like 23 carbs a day, which sounds crazy, but it is possible. So we're just trying it out. I don't know, I actually really like it so far. I'm having more of like a limited intake and trying to focus on more like whole fats as well as proteins has been really good for me so far. Um, another thing I picked up are a few different flavors of these almond flour cookies. So they had chocolate chip, snickerdoodle, and birthday cake. These look really good as well. Um, I did go on a couple different blogs that have like Aldi keto finds. So I kind of looked online a little bit to see what we should be looking for. I'm a super visual person actually seeing it. I know exactly what to look for so the blogs were really helpful and then the other like snacky type items I got are just bars. These are Essential for me to be able to take on the go when I'm filming I did get two of the same kind because I heard these ones are really good and these are the peanut butter fudge crisp um, elevation bars. I've heard really good things about these. Moving on to the next one. This was like the last bag we packed, so it's kind of a mixed bag. First thing on top is a bag of pork rinds. I don't eat those, but they're like a hot and spicy flavor for Brian. And then also in here are two bags of a Caesar salad kit. And they also, I don't know if this is just for the summer, but if it is, I'm gonna have to get another one and stock up to freeze them keto friendly buns so that we can do like burgers and stuff. These have one net carb. That's crazy. And the keto bread's really good and these feel really soft. I think they'd probably be better if you like toasted them a little, but I just like everything toasted. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on these. I think they also have at some points in the year like keto bagels and I think they also have keto hot dog buns. Um, but if you're trying to eat low carb, definitely shop at Aldi. I feel like it's the best store you can go to. They have the most affordable stuff. Aldi and Trader Joe's are so similar. I know a lot of people say that they're like owned from the same company and then other people say like that's not true anymore. So I don't actually know if they are or if they were at some point, but they are very similar and have a lot of the same like 
niche or fun type foods. The next bag has lots of like meats and stuff. We got two of these grass-fed ground beef packs. Super good, we always eat like a ton of ground beef. Also two cucumbers in here. Um, and then we did get a couple of these breakfast sausage patties. It looks like Brian got the original, as well as the maple. Those sound really good. We did get two packs of bacon. So affordable at Aldi compared to other stores. The steal of the day, eggs. Eggs at Aldi. These are cage-free, no growth hormone, farm fresh eggs. Um, 12 eggs for a dollar and 21 cents. We got three dozen. <laughs> That is so cheap. We got three for less than what I pay for one at Walmart, so I had to pick up a bunch of these. I'm the type of person, I eat eggs every single day for breakfast, two eggs. Um, when I was pregnant with Bryn, the whole first trimester, I hated eggs, which was really, really weird for me. Um, and I'm back on the egg train, obviously. I mean, I got back on it in like my second trimester, but eggs have just gotten so expensive, especially like when I got pregnant, I feel like that was like before inflation was super, super crazy. Um, and then eggs just got so expensive. When I got back into buying eggs, they were like five, six, seven dollars for 12 eggs, which is like astronomical. Two other things we picked up are this thing of half and half and the egg whites. The egg whites are one of the best deals at Aldi. I always talk about that when I make Aldi hauls. Um, Brian loves eating like egg whites and they're just really really expensive and it's also pricey to waste the yolks and like just you know eat the egg whites like to just eat half of it it's not very economical so we do buy the egg whites and if you like to eat egg whites as well they have great ones at Aldi and they're super affordable um, I talked about this in my last video and I looked at them again today the egg white the egg white wraps a lot of you guys said they are really really good um, so if you're looking for another like low carb option or to get in more protein um, they have these like egg white wraps and everyone said they were delicious we did not pick them up but those are another option I think they'd be great for breakfast if you're doing like bacon and cheese in like an egg wrap that's a ton of protein. Please keep in mind with all of this stuff, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a dietitian. Definitely do your own research if you are looking to change up your eating habits. Um, we're just doing what works for us or trying out something that we think might work for us and we're excited about it, but I'm definitely not a dietitian. This is not diet or nutrition advice. Just wanted to give that disclaimer. The fun thing about keto is that it, like I said, it focuses a lot on like proteins and fats. So I bought full fat sour cream, which is something I have not done in a really, really long time. So I'm really excited about this. A few more meat items that I picked up are these breakfast ham slices. We are huge breakfast people. Like even if we don't eat breakfast at breakfast time because we're too busy with work or Bryn, the first meal that we eat of the day is always a breakfast related item. So we have a lot of breakfast stuff. Also picked up a pack of chicken tenderloins and these like thin sliced ribeye steaks. Um, and these were probably the most expensive thing we got. They were $17.44, but we did get two pounds. So I feel like that's a really good deal still like compared to other stores. And then the last bag that we picked up, this is my favorite like cooler bag. It's from Trader Joe's. I think it was like 10 bucks. If you ever see them, they put out different colors every season. Definitely pick one up. They keep your groceries so cold for so long. In here we have some celery, just like a really good snack. We did also pick up two things of organic strawberries and two things of organic blueberries. The produce at Aldi is way, way, way cheaper than any other store. I think I've mentioned this before, but I like literally stopped buying fruit at one point because I didn't feel like we could afford it. Fruit has just gotten, it's one of those things that has gotten extremely expensive, especially berries. So if you have an Aldi in your area and you haven't checked it out or you checked it out and you weren't sure about it, I really encourage you to like give it a second look. The rest of this bag I think is like all cheese type products. The first thing I got that I'm really excited about are these halloumi style cheese sticks it says they're perfect for the air fryer I'm dying to try these um, we did also get a thing of Rayo's marinara and I'm just gonna dip them in there and I think it's gonna be like kind of similar to a mozzarella stick I don't know I'm gonna try them also got a couple things of cream cheese and then also we got the blocks of cheese we got two of the mild cheddar and two of the Colby Jack um, Brian and I one time on a road trip to Charleston did a deep dive of like how can we eat the foods that we love but like what are the best healthiest versions of them and one of the big things that they were like you need to stop buying is shredded cheese in the bags because of all the preservatives that they have to add to them to like keep them fresh in the bag 
If you're gonna eat cheeses like that, the best way is to buy and shred your own. So if you have the time, I would definitely recommend it. Plus it's a lot cheaper to do it this way. It takes like two seconds and you really can notice a huge difference. So we picked up a couple blocks of cheese. And then the last thing we picked up is this log of mozzarella. It's thin sliced. Love eating this with like tomato, fresh basil from our garden, and like the balsamic drizzle. So delicious, such a perfect, really like healthy summer snack. It's one of those snacks too that's like super refreshing. It's so delicious and definitely one of our favorites. And that is everything I picked up at Aldi. Well, alrighty everyone, there you have it. That is all of the new home decor right now at Aldi. I'm really excited to come back and check out what they're gonna have for the fall sometime in the next few weeks. Also hope that you guys enjoyed my grocery haul. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Thank you so much for shopping with me today and every day. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.